Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daniel Rosal here. This channel is focused on living in Israel and Jerusalem. Today I want to cover a app that is really important for preparedness in Israel, especially at this current period, and that is the app from the Home Front Command, which is the part of the Israeli army, the IDF, that deals with civilian affairs. So when there is a war or rockets going on, uh, Pikuda Oref becomes really important. So just a couple of things to start off from kind of first principles, how you install this app, you want to go onto Google Play Store. And just to be clear that these instructions are specifically for Android. I don't have an iPhone, so if you're on iPhone and the Apple world, uh, these instructions will not apply. This is Android. So go into Google Play Store, look for Homefront Command. This is their logo and you'll get a uh, button to install the app. Now in the app itself, the homepage, uh, you basically add your location by zooming over. You just use the kind of horizontal scroll function in order to click add an area of interest. And as it says here, um, you can add up to 10 different areas to get alerts. So my area, the area that I'm in for the purpose of the alerts is Jerusalem center. And you're, a you're able to actually find out your area just directly through this app by giving it a location permission. So you can find out that way. And then once you have your location set, in my case, Jerusalem Center, you can see the current restrictions or liberties as may be the case. Uh, so we can see here that uh, gatherings can be held. There are some current uh, guidelines already in place. The beaches are closed, gatherings can be held with a limit of up to 10 people outdoors. Educational activities are currently prohibited because as I'm recording this, we're in a state of national emergency formally because of the war with uh, Gaza. And in workplaces, you can work if there is an activity, if, if you have a, a protected space and the time of arrival is 1.5 minutes. By clicking into the alerts tabs, which is the next tab over, the one with the kind of alert icon, um, you're going to be able to see the alerts. Uh, the other thing is you can set the, very important, I think, set the indicators. So basically, when you get an alert, if there is, uh, God forbid, rockets or terrorist infiltrations or any other alerts, uh, you're going to be able to just change the alerts. I've added the vibrate function, as you can see, you can click add vibrate just to make it even more noticeable. So you can keep your phone on and add hiring, lowering, and you can preview the different uh, sounds. So for example, an area in my location, there's a lowering setting and there's a, uh, hiring setting. I'm just going to go out so that sound stops. Um, and uh, you can also add the flashlight. So again, just looking for ways to make this as visible as possible. Um, you can change the flashlight. I'm going to go back to my hiring, which is recommended because it's going to be the loudest uh, setting. So that's basically the crux of the app. There's a little bit more to it, but those are really the essential things you want to do. But there's one tip that I want to just add here. And that is to change the default battery settings that you're going to have on your Android device. So what you want to do is long click on the home front command and then click on the info setting. Now, depending on what kind of Android phone you have, it's going to be a little bit different, but it should generally look quite like this. So firstly, you want to, of course, make sure that notifications are allowed for this app, the app if there is a, an emergency alert, is going to send that alert and you want to have it available. Now here is the change that I recommend making. When you click into battery, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy phone and by default, the batteries are given, the apps are given some kind of an optimization setting, which is going to just kind of, you know, if they're idling, you're going to uh, curtail their use a little bit to save battery. So I recommend strongly going, changing the setting from the default optimized over to unrestricted. And what this will do, as it says, is allow the app to use battery in the background without restrictions. 
this may reduce your battery life. But when you're dealing with a light, potentially life-saving app like this, um, you want to make sure that this has access to the server of the home front command so that it's pulling in any alerts that you may need. Uh, this is going to wrap up um, my sort of tour of the home front command app. Uh, I hope this has been useful. I really recommend installing this on your Android, putting it on your home screen, setting up your alert area, setting up your uh, alert sounds as your preference is. And then finally, just making sure that uh, the battery optimizations are disabled so that it's uh, running as uh, well as possible in the background of your Android. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.